Hello, my name is Amy Anker. Welcome to my channel. So today I am using this palette from Too Faced called Clover. So absolutely adorable on the outside. I just had to have it. I absolutely love um, dogs. I've rescued, my husband and I have rescued for almost the whole time we've been married. So almost 20 years. And we have had the best experience um, rescuing and giving back to the little animals that have been hurt, abused, neglected, or just kind of thrown away. So anyways, when I saw this palette, it just touched my heart because of my passion for rehabbing dogs and um, taking in the little lost souls. I love the palette on the inside. Oop, try not to get too much of a feedback glare. The inside is absolutely beautiful with the mirror. The colors are so much fun. When I first saw the colors, I was like, ooh, what am I gonna do? So many bright colors. So today I, I did a teal. Um, I used some pretty safe colors for the, the transition. I picked up some best friends underneath, um, puffy eyes on the inner corner underneath the eyebrow bone. I used some Cuddle Buddy, Good Boy, and Woof. So I went with more of the greenish colors in this palette because they were just singing to me. And I've seen this color in a few of their other palettes, so really didn't rush to that one. Um, and Cuddle Buddy and, nah, sorry, Rut Row and Paw Print look like some of their other, their other palettes. So I didn't jump into those. I wanted to jump into um, the green or the teal because it was screaming to me or it was barking at me, please use me. So it barked, I listened, what can I say? Now the palette overall, um, I want to give this probably maybe a 9 um, on the scale of 1 to 10. Presentation, absolutely a 10 plus. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Now as far as the colors go, they did blend well. I built up the teal so it goes on a little bit lighter. Um, I patted more on for emphasis. Same thing with the black. I started out with the black. It um, looked more gray on my eyes, so I built up that black a little bit more. Um, I will say that the palette does have fallout. So I was tapping my brush and still getting fallout on my face, so I actually had to kind of get out my concealer and clean this all back up again. So just be aware it does have some fallout, um, even when you tap the brush, so you, uh, you know, but that's, I guess, not uncommon for most eye palettes. So I did enjoy using the palette. It is adorable. I probably will try a few more looks with this just to see what else I can come up with. Because again, the colors are absolutely beautiful. They're bright, they're pretty. I mean, you can take this palette with you anywhere and have a good, um, a good number of looks you can create. And I think that I do like the fact they put light, a light white for your brow bone. Also like that they have some dark browns and some blacks. So that makes the palette, those on both sides of the spectrum, make it so that you can travel with this palette because you can create anything with those colors on the inside. So I do like this palette's versatility. Um, some of the other palettes I've seen recently don't have as much versatility for as many eye looks and colors. And I like just grabbing one palette and going. Um, I don't want to take a bunch of palettes with me. So I think that palette is the most versatile I've seen probably for um, fourth quarter 2017. So very excited about that. So anyways, um, if you want to see how I got this eye look, uh, you're at the right place. So, so stay I'm very tuned. I'm excited about this palette since I love animals. I rescue dogs and I'm a sucker for animals and dogs. I admit it, I have a problem. I love my pets. So we're gonna start out with the color Chihuahua today. It's a pretty color. I almost didn't wanna use this palette because it's so cute, but then I couldn't resist. And it doesn't smell like a dog or cat. <laughs> crack myself up. Alright, we're going to take some fur baby into the crease. I say fur faces. 
I love my fur faces. It's funny, I have the hardest time remembering people's names, but if I meet their dogs, I remember their dog's name. I just don't remember their name. That's not a good habit to have. So I, got, I had a Dalmatian a long time ago. His name was Cole, and I jokingly but seriously said he rescued me, so that's why I had to rescue um, other pups. And ever since then, I just really, I'm a sucker for pups. All right, so now we're gonna pick up Cuddle Buddy. And I like the harder cases. I like the ones that I can rehab either physically or mentally and get them in a better space, mentally or physically, to undo whatever their previous owners have done to them. Now all of our dogs aren't, we do have some that have not been horrible cases, of course, so that's good, but I'm just an absolute sucker for an animal that has been hurt I want to help bring them back and make a difference and show them that humans aren't horrible and then they come once I get them and I rehab them or me and my husband rehab them I should say they stay with us until they pass along the rainbow bridge so we're kind of their retirement home and we're gonna pick up spoiled when we had built our previous house, we actually built them a room and their room ended up being bigger than our master bedroom. But it did make rehabbing much easier. You know what, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut out a little bit of a crease, I think. Let me back up. And it's kind of interesting because it seems like the dogs that have been rescued really know they're getting a second chance and they're just so sweet so Rob has his that gravitate towards him I have mine that gravitate towards me and then we have ours that just they won't pick sides This palette's got a tiny bit of fallout. So we have his pine and ours. Okay, I'm gonna back up again. So I'm gonna go with cuteness overload because those are all my pups. They are cuteness overload. Now we're gonna go back in with that color spoiled. No, woof. And this one seems to have a bit of fallout. It's all over my, by my nose. Okay, this is a great color. Save them all. That is so me. So I'm gonna take save them all. And lightly blend the spoiled in with the, the cuddle, the cuddle baby. I'm gonna take a defined crease brush and pick up the color Woof. Knock the heck out of that brush so we don't have that kind of fallout. Picking back up the color I use, or the brush with the, my transition color, and I'm just lightly going over the edges here to smooth them out. Alright, we're going to use the Marc Jacobs Blacker. And then I'm going to take this color here called Best Friends. We're gonna smudge that out. Ooh, that gives kind of a teal and dark look. I like that color, best friends. Ooh, that's so pretty. That really is pretty. It adds like a brown, but a teal. That is crazy. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, I'm digging that. I'm digging, digging, digging. So now I'm gonna find an eyeliner. I think I'm gonna go with the black. We're gonna use the Maybelline Ultra Liner. It's waterproof. Don't ask me why I just did it that way. I'm 
picked the color up here called Puppy Eyes. I would have thought that would have been a brown color, but it's white. So now we're going to put on a bit of mascara and then we're going to pop on some little false lashes. All right. So I think since the eye is so teal, I am going to use, I'm going to pick up the deck of Scarlet and the color Dusk right here, I'm gonna use as my cheek color. I'm gonna use the Essence Lip Liner. This one is in Nude. That feels a little dried out. We're gonna to top that with some Too Faced Melted Matte in the color Sellout. up some good boy and go just on the outer third and it looks like I'm gonna need to put on a bit of concealer because it does have like I said it's some fallout and no matter how hard I pushed or I slammed my brush on the edge it still have fallout. I'm going to highlight using the Ofra Rodeo Drive. This is like my daily highlighter. Okay, I'm going to add some metallic lip gloss from Beauty Creations and this color is called Sugar Cookie. So now I think we have the look finished. All right, so I appreciate you guys coming to watch the channel and me using the Too Faced Clover palette. So absolutely love and adore this. I am a huge animal rescue person. And so when they, when Too Faced mentioned they were gonna put this out, I had to have it regardless, even if the palette didn't work. I had to have it. I just had to have it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today. If you have any comments, questions, or thoughts, please put those below. If you think of any products I need to be trying and doing a video on, please put those below. I do take requests. So I just wanna wish you all a wonderful day and as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.